So sometimes when you're playing a song, the melody gets a little bit low. And if you have the chords in the left hand, and the right hand melody is low, then you're going to have a problem, right? Because they're going to intersect. Let's take the song Hello Young Lovers by Rodgers and Hammerstein from the musical The King and I. I'm going to play it without bringing the melody up or doubling anything. I'm just going to play a melody exactly where it's written and the chords down here. So it's okay, they don't intersect. So you can get away with it okay, but still you see how you're kind of limited. Your, your, your hands are all right in, the, right in the center of the keyboard and you're really not using the piano as much as you could be to fill it out and, and, and add some uh, beauty and tone, whether it's in the treble or the bass side. So let's try now taking the melody up a whole octave, okay? So I'm going to bring it up here to, instead of the G here, we're going to do it up here. Isn't that prettier? Right, so that just brings that melody out more and it's, it's a very light, beautiful sound. Another thing we could do is double the melody, and now we're adding even more tone to it. Fancier, you could conceivably you could fill in with some some notes in the middle like, from the chord. Oops. So here we're on a D minor chord. I could put an A from the D minor chord, right? But that gets into locked hand style, which we're going to go over in depth in the next lesson.